Jan Schakowsky joins us. She is the vice chair of the House Progressive Caucus, Congresswoman from Illinois, great friend. Jan, first of all, thank you for your 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 Christmas holiday card. I appreciate it. Your family's beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Kids and dogs. Yep. <laughs> I want to I want to start with your thoughts on what unfolded yesterday. I want to here's the president first making the announcement saying enough is enough. Our unalienable right to life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness, those rights were stripped from college kids in Blacksburg and Santa Barbara and from high schoolers at Columbine. And and from first graders in Newtown. First graders. And from every family who, who never imagined that their loved one would be taken from our lives by a bullet from a gun. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. And by the way, it happens on the streets of Chicago every day. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, your response to what unfolded yesterday and where we're going with all of well, this. Well, I, I was in the room um, when he made that, that very emotional speech. Um, in those silences, when he wasn't speaking, he was wiping away some, some tears, which is not typical of the president. Um, not, uh, you know, not, not such an emotional guy most of the time. But this, especially the, the children at Sandy Hook, really, really got to, uh, got to him. But also the fact that every day um, there are so many people who are killed by gun violence, over 30 in the United States. Um, and and it's, it's enough is enough. And so the the proposals that he was making, understand we we have some background check rules, except that about forty percent of the gun purchases somehow are not covered. Mm-hmm. And what this executive order does is say that no matter where you conduct your business, in a store, at a gun show, over the internet, that will have to be covered you will have to have a license to do those sales and you there will have to be background checks and the other thing that i was not aware of is that if you register as a corporation or a trust that you can buy um, machine guns and sawed off shotguns and that some ninety thousand applications have been made to be able to purchase through that big loophole, mm-hmm. that will be closed. That will be closed right now. So, background check. So simple. In fact, it it seems that about it's estimated that about two million guns have been kept out of the wrong hands because of the current background checks. Imagine if we really tighten that. If we enforce that, how many people? that um, would be saved because guns would not get into the wrong hands. That's all, that's all he's yeah. saying. Here's, here's uh, Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. This, of course, is, is red meat on the campaign trail to rile these people up to oh, get yeah. out the vote on the right wing. Here's their thoughts. President Obama is announcing new executive orders to try to go after our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. Well, I can tell you right now, those executive orders are not worth the paper they're printed on because when you live by the pen, you die by the pen and what is this this is crazy well it's just wrong it's just lies as well you know look at these are the same people who are saying that the so called that people on the so called terrorist watch list should be able to um, be able to buy guns can't get on a plane but yeah. you should be able to buy guns so i mean they are so extreme yeah. That they they actually want people, for example, that um, uh, are not allowed to collect their own security, uh, social security check. It has to go to a third party or get their veterans benefits because they're not able to manage themselves 
that those people, the NRA says those people should still be able to, to, to buy yeah. guns. I mean, it, it's just crazy. Well, it, across the board, collectively, uh, you, you know, the right wing, the the people that want to be president from the Republican Party are against what President Obama is doing. Uh, Jeb Bush threw this out there about whether he has the power to do it. He doesn't have the right to do it. He's doing it without the executive authority to do it. And every time he does that, you know, look, heads explode and people get very angry. I do, too. I just think that the Constitution is worth protecting. All right. Is is he right or wrong? Does the president have the executive authority to do this? He absolutely has the authority that if you are in the business of selling firearms, then you have to get a license and you have to conduct background checks. It's the way that the law has been enforced. And so the president is saying, we're going to do better. We're going to make sure that all of the sales of guns, all of the profits that are, you know, if you're making money selling a gun, and by the way, there's no limit on that. Even if Mm -hmm. it's a couple of guns, then you are going to have to require a background check, and you're going to have to get a license. It's really that simple. And that we're going to make sure that all of these sales um, and all of that, 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 that the, um, what we call the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, the NICS system, that we're going to make sure that we report all those people who are not able to get guns um, to that system so that they can be prevented from those purchases. He also talked about um, more money for mental health. That's what the uh, the right wing is saying is the only problem. Um, and, and the president is saying, yes, we should spend more money. And about mm-hmm. a half a billion dollars more is being allocated under his uh, proposals. And that, you know, the Congress is going to have to agree to that. But we, we all agree with that. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, uh, I want you just just to take a moment and for our listeners and viewers describe the gun lobby in Washington. Well, I mean, you know, how I, power? How would you? How powerful are they? How intimidating are they? Uh, how aggressive are they? G- give us a sense. Your, your estimation of the gun well, lobby. Well, they're intimidating, especially to members of Congress. If you did a national referendum on what the president is suggesting and mm-hmm. asking the American people if they agree. It would be overwhelming, including people who are gun owners like yourself, and even members of the National Rifle Association would agree with that. They have intimidated members of Congress. Why? Because of the kind of money that they um, put into campaigns and the squeaky wheel effect that they mobilize their hardcore, hardcore members. Um, but there are other players on the field right now, and... The uh, father of one of the children killed at Sandy Hook made it very clear that they are not going away. That people who believe in this sensible gun safety legislation are not going to go away. And I think ultimately, even in this upcoming campaign, Hillary Clinton has made it very clear that she endorses this, that the um, people who are against any kind of gun safety, I hope, will finally be marginalized by the common sense of the American voters. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, always great to visit. I appreciate your time. We'll do it again. Thank you. Thanks, and Hank, just to hear about your new plans. Well, we're we're, we're close to announcing. It's going to be fun. Thank you. Great, thanks. Bye. You bet.